Hi everyone, welcome back to the Omni Studio series. In this session, we are going to learn about the loop block, which is part of group. And loop block is used to like iterate um, over the arrays and do certain things. Okay, so you can consider this totally as your for loop. Okay, so let's get started uh, with um, creating your IP. Okay, so I will name it IP group loop block and I will provide the same into type and subtype. Okay, so uh, groups are available here on the top side and actions are here, right? So uh, in nutshell, uh, there is a difference between groups and action. Uh, groups don't perform any kind of action directly so that's the reason that they are not part of it right so they provide some functionality which you can do and you can put multiple actions into the groups right so let's start with the first one which is our loop block okay so if you see this right the structure is quite different you can add uh, multiple actions in it right so you can you can add, add number of things, right? So you can add data adapters and uh, you can add like batch actions, calculation actions, whatever you want to do. You can add the send emails as well, right? So uh, if there are 10 things coming into your loop, uh, that will uh, send out the emails, okay? So this is how it is. Um, and let's go back and let's see what properties we have in the loop block, okay? And we will also create um, we will also create a, a array here. Okay, so I will create an array called movies. Okay, and then in this I will have an object where I will have name of movie. Okay, and then I will copy it twice and thrice. Okay, so JSON is almost ready. Cool. So this is over a array, okay. And then we have uh, like movie name into this, right? So we will be iterating on this. So what we need to do is we need to provide where is our list. So we are saying, okay, this is our list. So this is where we are getting, and if there is a node, obviously you can access through that node column or all. Right? So once you define this, it will automatically iterate it. We don't need to do anything else. Right? And here, let's go ahead and we are going to create and set value step where we will be merging all the movie name in, in a string. So what we will do here and how we can access like each element, uh, uh, basically each name of the movie. Okay? So here, what you need to do is whatever array that you have defined. Okay, so if you try to access in this way, name, okay, this should be available. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I will provide an element name here on get str. Okay, I'm doing on very wrong place here. This should be element name and this should be here. Okay, so let's run it once and let's see what is the output here. Okay. So if you see this is our loop block and this ran four times one two three and four okay so you can see like uh, at least this is getting iterated and if you see this like uh concat and concat str it is getting populated uh, with the names right and at the end of uh, why we have like concat str because this was the last element right so in general if you do this right um, in your for loops if you have variable and then you are assigning each elements um, 
uh, in that variable then only last value remains right so this is same thing happening here okay so what we are going to do here is that uh, we are going to like uh, concat it so what we will do we will create a json node okay and we will create uh, a node called final str okay so why we are creating so we can utilize this in in this here okay and so we can coordinate okay so here i will say final str plus comma okay and this okay so the same way uh, if we had the loop right this, this is what we were uh, we were supposed to do right in the for loop as well if we are talk about apex uh, level right so we have something called final str we are concatenating right so uh, how it works uh, it will iterate for first time okay so first we have spiderman uh, in our element right so it will come here it should be basically null or blank something like this right then uh, it will concatenate uh, to the uh, so we had like this uh, spiderman so this will go to this con concat uh, str so we have spiderman here and because we have created a new node final str so in final str we have spiderman okay so next time it iterates and we will have batman okay so final str already have spiderman okay and then it will concat to batman okay and then the same thing this variable comes here and we are sending this into response json node final str now we have spiderman and batman so let's execute and let's see what is the output so if you see this okay this is how it is and let me do one more thing here so i will add a response action okay and we will send out whatever we are getting in this final str okay print down this preview execute okay so you are seeing this right so this is how you can uh, iterate through it okay so one more example that we will do we will have one count of elements here okay so same thing we will do here as well we will create another step or action okay, which we will call as a counter okay, and then we will have here element called count count and then here we will say final count okay so final count here we will put down and as it will be an integer normal number we don't we just need to put plus right and movie instead of movie name right we will have plus one always right so whenever we are iterating it should be plus one plus the existing value right and let's let's see it uh, how it works and in the response section let's print it out okay so we have this final count go back and hit the preview okay so you see we have four right so by default uh, whatever you do right uh, these are taking as a like a blank in beginning and zero you know automatically right uh, in very first step right so in general if you do this you might get uh, some like attempt to dereference null error or something like that anything uh, but it won't work for in for loop because we haven't specified the uh, variables right so I really suggest that uh, if you want to start by initializing something, right? So you should do this, right? Uh, so create a step call in it, okay? Uh, so in it uh, here we will initialize our final str, in it final str, okay? And then in it. It can be anything and here we will keep it blank right because this is string right and then json path is in it and we want to propagate in the same node okay so now 
by using this we have a blank value in final str okay the same thing we will do for the counter as well okay so here we'll go and this final count will be over json this so final count okay in it in it at this time we will keep it zero right okay so zero goes to in it and then in it goes to final count right so now we have zero here right? so let's preview it okay so still uh, we have the same right so let's see if this thing is working or not let's let's do it one right so logically it should give us five you see this is how you can initialize and this is how you can iterate over the um i iterate over using the like loop block right uh, one thing that you should be uh, taking care about that if you are utilizing any data raptors in this action that means it will be executed that many times right so i don't think so that's a good idea to iterate over the any data raptors because it will fire sql in loop right which we don't follow in fx as well right so i would suggest whatever you can think of best practices in the apex please do follow in the integration procedure as well and uh, yeah there, there is one more thing um, you can control execution conditional formula uh, right so let's say i don't want to count or consider if movie name is batman okay so what i can do is and counter I can go and I can put like this Batman and so we are accessing through this so movie name should not be Batman okay so now the counter will be three you see right so this is how all you can have your if else inside your loop block right? so um, there was a there was a like a one requirement that I have came across that something like this that you have a list of data right and then you want to validate it like uh, if you have at least five or six fulfilling uh, records fulfilling the condition right so uh, we can do something like this and then we ha can have counter right and then at the end of the loop block right you will have okay is it greater than five or not right so something like that you can do in the loop block okay okay cool uh, that's it for this video uh we will see another examples uh, in the next videos okay and please do subscribe the uh, channel if you haven't so right thank you so much bye bye